Alright, <clears throat> good evening YouTube, welcome back to Nanny AFC TV, apologies for no streams but YouTube ain't having it, don't know, I'm trying to do videos and they're not allowing it, so I'm going to quickly as fast as I can, this is going to be like a 3-4 minute video, um, what a disaster, we've just lost 1-0 to um, Leicester City, I watched it courtesy of Now Sports, thank you, their coverage is wicked, Chinese or Japanese channel absolutely banging but um yeah we weren't i'm gonna break down factually of the game we dominated the first half was a much better team without having them you know them really clinical chances where you have to score we just dominated without creating really good chances 11 shots two on target leicester at zero in fact leicester's only chance was in the 79th minute two substitutes combined carlos agna Kange Agna, whatever the fuck his name is. And Vardy combined. Man. That's three defeats now already. King Arteta, yeah? Oh, mate. Listen, William Saliba, why the fuck is he not in the team? Like, the defence is shit. But you get Leicester City, they spend similar money. I think they spent £26 million on uh, Fofana. He's 19. He comes from the exact same team as William Saliba. They've both come over. They've both had their breakthrough seasons at Saturn 80 and both got a move to the Premiership. One plays and one doesn't. Why? But yeah, Louise went off injured. Of course, we brought on Mustafi. I said it to Steve and the other night on the phone. I've said it to a few people. I'm putting it out there already, innit? It's because it's, um, it's the Emre signing. And I'll tell you, I don't like that. The one player you can guarantee that uh, Emre did sign, because I think Socrates and Leno was already done on the missile tap. But one of his definite signings, possibly Torreira, but definitely was Guendouzi. You could tell by how much he played in 49 games in his first season. And he was like 18, just hitting 18, coming in from the second division in France. But that was Emery's statement to the board. It was his signing, so he's going to play him. So I see that now, and I see why Emery's gone. Yeah. And funny enough, look where Guendouzi is now. He got the Corona train all the way to fucking Germany. And I'm beginning to panic that the same's happening to Saliba. Fuck their bullshit plan, and oh, is this the plan for Saliba? Fuck off. Look, do what Brendan Rodgers is doing. Throw for Farnham in 19 come from the same country, same team, fucking same age. Fuck off, I tell. Seriously, fuck off. So yeah, a bad day at the office for Arsenal, wasn't it? I can't even bother with player ratings. Most, most of them are shit tonight. There was nothing from Abambia, nothing from Lacazette. Saka was the best of the trio, but he always just lacks that last bit. Like he gets into amazing positions and then fucks up the cross or the shots like, ah, eh, and Damn. I'm not going to get into transfer news. That's going to be on video too. I'm going to try and cut this in a second. And, um, yeah, so at this time I'm going to say, please like, please subscribe. I'll be back with one or two more videos tonight. YouTube ain't really having it, so I'm going to cut this at exactly five minutes, but it has the grace to let me get there. And I'll be back with two more videos. But, yeah, 